Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a beverage. This beverage was actually given to me by my mother. Um, so she tried this, and she said that no, not her or anyone in the house liked this. Got it on lunch out of here. You can see it. Everyone in the house tried it, didn't like it, but she thought I might be interested in it because it is kind of interesting. And that is Spicy Ranch Water. It is a hard seltzer. So I've actually seen um, ads for this online um, for ranch water. And I gotta tell you, a lot of the comments under those advertisements are very similar to my initial thoughts when I saw it. If you call something ranch water, what do you think people are going to assume that they're looking at? Hair sticking out of my sides. Well, just like I thought, and the uh, comments underneath also agreed, most people thought they were trying to advertise a ranch dressing flavored water. And the comments went one of two ways. Either someone was like, wait, is this ranch flavored water? Two people responding saying, uh, how stupid could you be thinking someone could sell ranch flavored water? That's so dumb. If you just look at it, you can see this hard seltzer. Sure. If you click on it and you look at it, you'll see that it is is not ranch flavored water. It is a hard seltzer with many different flavors. However, a lot of things happen when you're a new business and your first impressions are people thinking, I don't want to taste ranch flavored water. So they just scroll away. They don't even bother clicking on it. So you have a large population that are doing that. They're saying, no, ranch water is disgusting, looking away from it. You have some people who might comment about it, but still aren't looking into it. And then you have some people that look into it, see that it's not ranch flavored water, and it is hard seltzer, but say, uh, maybe you should name it something different anyway. And that's where I am. I think ranch water is a terrible name for a hard seltzer, for all the reasons that I stated above. But anyway, that's why I've never actually bought it or tasted it. But of course, someone gives me one, I will. So this is a spicy hard seltzer that is made with 100% agave, natural lime juice, and jalapeno flavors. It is a 4% alcohol by volume. It claims 2% juice, 80 calories. It's interesting that it is an alcohol beverage, but it has the full nutritional fact label on it. Um, so I think it says it's yeah, made in Texas. Yes, Houston, Texas. It also says just the word beer on the side, which is weird because it's not beer. Ingredients, carbonated water, alcohol from sugar, key lime juice, natural flavors, citric acid, agave nectar, salt, contains alcohol, which is from sugar apparently. And there are three grams of sugar in it and 35 milligrams of sodium. No other nutritional information. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I brought a glass just in case I thought that it might have a color to it, but if I don't see a color, I'm not going to pour it out. Yeah, it's clear. So I'm going to save this glass and not dirty it. First step is giving it a sniff. It's supposed to taste, have a lime, jalapeno, agave kind of scent to it, so let's find out. It has an smell, but it's not really a definable smell. It kind of has like a vegetal smell to it, which makes sense if it's agave jalapeno. I don't really smell any lime. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Is it spicy? Is it tasty? Let's find out.
for the most part it's kind of bland but it does have a similar taste to the smell it's kind of vegetal yeah it tastes like maybe they uh they used the entire jalapeno plant where there's the branches and the trees and the leaves in there as well there is some spice to it i'll give it that uh to call this spicy is probably a good thing because if someone tasted this and it didn't say spicy they would be surprised although it's not very spicy very manageable in spice Yeah, I can see why uh, everyone in the house said they didn't like this, because it doesn't taste good at all. It tastes like an entire jalapeno plant, roots and dirt and all. Um, yeah, no sir, I don't like it. Ranch water spicy? I would have rather drank ranch dressing flavored water. It, uh, it's not good. Anyway, let's get that flavor out of our mouth by telling you something equally extreme, if not more, and this is the final of the flavors that I said I would be adding to the end of some other reviews. This is Green Apple Flavor Warheads Sour Soda. Of course, let's start off with eating the candy. There you go. Green Apple. Let's taste the candy. This one took a little bit longer than the other ones to get the, the sour coating off of it. Green apple is one of those flavors that, even when it's not a specifically mentioned sour candy, green apple always tends to lean towards the sour. This has malic acid in it. So, it seems like the lemon one was the only one that went with citric acid instead of malic. So far, everything has been good except for the lemon one. So, I expected this one to also be good. Let's open her up. A nice green hue. I already smell green apple candy scent. Mm hmm. A very nice smell to it. Let's give it a taste. Nice. Hmm. Now, the candy had a lot of sourness to it. So maybe since I already had a lot of sourness in my mouth, this doesn't taste as sour. Though that had not been the case for ones I've tasted before. This is actually really good. Um, it reminds me, I think I went to like a, a Renaissance Fair type event where they had like gourmet sodas and stuff. And one of them was like a green apple soda. And this actually really reminds me of that flavor. It's like, even though there's no juice in this, the whatever they make this taste like artificial apple, it's probably the closest out of all the sodas I've had that tastes like the actual apple. I think Jones Soda makes a green apple soda as well, and 
I would say it's very similar. They probably are not as sour, the Joan Soda, as the Warheads one. But of all the ones I've had, minus the lemon one because it just tasted so much different, this one probably the more familiar flavor tastes like a, a soda that actually already exists. Maybe it's a little more sour, slightly. Anyway, that was good. Warheads, sour green apple soda, two thumbs up. If uh, you come across any of the Warheads sodas, I would recommend all of them except for the lemon one. The lemon one was not good. Uh, specifically, this green apple one definitely gives a thumbs up. And that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay away from the ranch waters. They have a bad name. They have a bad taste. I will not be ever purchasing from them. Uh, not to say if someone gives me one, I won't try it if it's a different flavor. <laughs> Specifically the spicy one. Not good. Anyway, like, subscribe, watch more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.